everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a pick a card all about your spiritual gifts. So please choose your group now. We have group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. And these are all crystals to help you with your spiritual gifts. So I thought I'd go with the theme. So please choose your group now. And if you want extra time, please pause the video. All the timestamps are down below in the comment section and also in the description box down below. So let's get started with group number one. Hello, group number one. Thank you so much for being here. So you guys chose the amethyst. So before we get started, I really want to choose a chakra card for you guys so we can get a little bit more detail on your spiritual gifts and how you manifest and things like that. I may bring a little bit of human design information into here. So let's have a look into your reading and let's see what chakra you use the most for your psychic abilities. <laughs> third eye, <laughs> that's perfect. Okay, so we have third eye destiny, follow your instincts, they lead you to the truth. Let's get another one. Okay, we have all things work best in conjunction with all things. So for you guys, I feel like you have lots of different chakras that you use. I feel like it's, it's gonna be like, you gotta use various amounts of chakras in the same go. So say if you use like your heart and your throat, and you use like your crown and your root, all those jazz. So I, I feel like it's gonna be a variety for you guys. So, okay, we also have your root chakra. So those are gonna be the main chakras we have. We also have the throat. So speak from your heart is the only thing worth listening to. This is the truth. So for you guys, I do feel like you may have struggled with your throat chakra in your life. You may have struggled with really speaking your truth and getting things to authentically come across and feel like maybe the information that you're getting possibly doesn't feel like it's very true. Okay, so for you guys, the best advice I can give you is to really get grounded in your knowing of who you are, okay? So when you are channeling and you are creating this really gorgeous energy, I feel like it's really important for you to understand that this is 100% a natural thing that everyone has, okay? Take your time and acknowledge that you will get there in your own time and you will manage to use your psychic abilities. Okay, so we have destiny and foundation. Follow your instincts, they lead to the truth. And we also have foundation, which says foundation is what the, the castle of your soul is built, built upon. So basically the more grounded you are, the more you're going to be able to channel and things like that. So from this group, I am hearing Claire audience, which is psychic hearing. And I'm also hearing claircognizance, which is psychic knowing. So those are like the main two I'm really feeling. Um, obviously we do have the third eye, so it can literally be any of those things. And obviously it can be all of those as well. So just take it as it resonates. But those are like the main ones I'm really, really feeling. And especially with the third eye and the root, that's really good because it's basically both ends of the human body. That's kind of like making sure you are grounded in your knowing and also be aware that if you, if this is part of your destiny to be a channeler or to use your psychic abilities more, it will be part of your work, okay? It will be part of who you are and it will be part of your journey. So just give yourself a really good pat on the back and say you're doing a really, really good job and know that any of these crystals here will most likely help you with your psychic abilities as well, along with this amethyst. Amethyst is really, really good for channeling, okay? So we have quite a few here. We have clear quartz, amethyst, lapis lazuli, jade, citrine, carnelian, and smoky quartz. So that's basically all of the crystals for all of the chakras. So you guys could be an all chakra type person, okay? So those are the main ones. I'm gonna put those up there. Okay, so let's have a look at your crystal stem. So the first card out we have is Amethyst. So we're gonna see what she says. When it's time to give up the victim routine and start living with purpose, hold on tight to Amethyst. Get drunkest on your highest self. So it says people who are in Pisces as well. So you could be a Pisces. The fact we have the Amethyst is really beautiful. Amethyst is such a good all round crystal. It's very much to do with psychic knowing and your psychic abilities, but also it's to do with kind of clearing and detoxifying any negative energies. So for you guys, you may need to clear out some old toxic energies so you can feel free of um, anything that's no longer serving you. And if there's anybody who you feel like you need to let go of, there's gonna be, um, a really big synchronicity for you to kind of let go of anyone who needs to go. And I feel like you will kind of get the knowing of when this is the right time for you to do so, okay? So we have Uranus, wow, big, big, big crystal. So you guys are gonna get some sort of big change coming in for you, okay? We have the Hummingbird. We have, we have lots of cards out today. 
we have leap let's put this guy up here we have leap we have trust the niggle i love that so much about the third eye in this group which i love and amethyst is normally to do with the third eye so that's great and we have the third eye here as well kind of being represented with a lot of the purple okay we then have stolen in her sleep unaware unconscious unawakened and then we also have these two which says moderation and spiritual partnership so let's talk about these two first because i feel like i can't really can't really put these two anywhere so with these two here obviously with moderation you need to make sure you're not overdoing it so if you do want to tune into your psychic abilities meditation is one of the main things you can do come away from um, any sort of toxic environment. So if you live in the woods, if you live, not literally in the woods, but if you live near nature, if you live in a place where you can really be um, away from any technology, that's gonna be absolutely great. Um, also, I've heard that eating a lot of beef is apparently really good. And also doing exercises like doing headstands and things like that because it will rush a lot of the blood to the pineal gland, okay, which is at the front of the head, which is the third eye. So. I feel like for this group as well, you will gain a spiritual partnership through the kind of journey and investment into your third eye, into your root chakra. And then the more grounded you get, the more you're going to attract some gorgeous partnerships that are really suitable for you. So I feel like love partnerships, friendships, um, anyone who is on a really gorgeous time, like soul journey with you and people who are really solely connected to you specifically. Okay. And we do have that purple and the green. So very much to do with the heart and the, the third eye, but also getting grounded, like really getting grounded. Moderation is very much to do with not overdoing it. You may be, um, if you guys know about a human design, you could be a projectile. That could be your personality type. Um, obviously, if you don't know about the human design, I'm not going to go along and explain it. It's very complicated, but if you want to cut up human design, definitely go for it because that's a really good source of information on how to kind of really access your intuition. And if you have like your intuition is one of your main kind of things you have. So obviously, if you don't, that's not really a problem either. OK, so we have leap. You go first. The universe will catch you and we have trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? So this is very much to do with letting the universe kind of the universe is saying like listen to your intuition listen to your third eye and become much more grounded <coughs> excuse me within your energy so we have stoniously unaware unconscious unawakened so for you guys you could have had a really strong spiritual awakening quite recently or you could have be having quite uncomfortable dreams or having feeling like people may be like watching you or something on a spiritual level okay so for you guys if you do need to clear yourself this is going to be the best thing you should do is clear from your root chakra upwards so like really scanning your whole body relaxing and scanning your whole body in meditation but also um feeling like you can really ground yourself and get some like really grounding crystals so like hematite or black onyx things like that will really help you um to deter any negative bad energies um but also black onyx is really good for deterring any negative energies and hematite is really good at grounding okay so trust the niggle niggling feelings are can, can come in various different ways it can be in your stomach it can be in your arms your legs just trust whatever is coming in for you. So when I first started doing more of this as my work, as kind of helping people on the daily, um, my third eye, my forehead hurt so, so much and I got so many headaches. But over time, I kind of got used to it and that was kind of my initiation into the um, spiritual realm. Like really, the universe was like, okay, is she, is she gonna like back down? You know, I wasn't going to. But I feel like it was more to do with kind of a symptom of channeling so you've got to be aware that when you do open yourself up more there will be kind of other symptoms you may have to have a diet change you may have to come away from wheat sugar milk all of those things and become like lactose free gluten free all those things so just be aware that you may have to change any sort of needs that you have so just be aware of that and know that that's good and that's okay and there's nothing really wrong with that so also we have Uranus here, which is all about the really big energies. Uranus is very much about change. It's a planet, planet of destruction. It's kind of like the planet that is like, okay, everyone move out of the way. I'm coming through. Okay. I also have a little fly on my table. That's very random. So if you see a fly moving around, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> this fly is so annoying. Do you mind, dude? Like, come on. I don't know where this little fly came from. Can you, can you go away? Thank you. He's chilling. He's chilling. Okay. So, um, right. So I'm going to have a look into the hummingbird and we're going to see what this guy represents. So this is representing air. 
So you're possibly gonna get a lot of psychic downloads when you start to open up your third eye. And there's definitely a lot to do with your third eye chakra. So obviously psychic abilities normally do come from your third eye because that's kind of like into the spirit realm. So obviously you've got to be aware that there may be some sort of like, um, you know, symptoms and things. So just be aware of that. Also look out for number 15. That could be quite significant for you. And also if you're getting quite intense dreams or lucid dreaming or anything like that, remember to clear yourself, guys, because you may be kind of, if you're very, very empathic and you pick up energies, just be aware, especially like if you go to like shopping centers or pubs or anything like that where there's a lot of people, just be aware that you may pick up something from somebody else. And that's no fault of your own. That's no fault of theirs. You just got to be aware to kind of hold in your own energy okay so the hummingbird is represented here as smart curious and loves to learn when out of balance it says pushy insistent and sharp to bring into balance take a class so it basically is talking about um savoring the moment of things and it says positive enthusiastic and spiritually resourceful beautiful so you guys can get a lot of uh, resources from spirit from down from downloads and this is also showing you that you're going to be more connected to the moon and you may be more sensitive to the moon so just be aware of that that's why we have all these crystals guys that's why we have all these incense sticks it's so helpful for us who are so sensitive because we need it girl we freaking need it okay so we then have the leap. So you may be feeling nervous as to kind of getting this energy out there. So what I'm feeling for you guys is what I've seen sometimes when people have a gigantic spiritual awakening, they feel the need to tell everyone and share it with everyone. Not everyone is going to understand. Okay, guys, just let you know that if you feel the need to share, not everyone is going to understand. So, but there will, you will find people who do, but just be aware that don't be don't be scared, don't let it throw you. But obviously, if you do find yourself kind of alone, make sure to reach out. There are so many people in the spiritual community who would want to talk to you, maybe join some like crystal groups or spiritual groups that I feel like will really help you because it's definitely leaping into the unknown in terms of like helping yourself move forward with it. So just be very aware that you're doing the best job that you can. And this is meant to happen for a reason okay definitely meant to happen for a reason so there's definitely a niggling feeling that maybe you need to release something that no longer serves you release something that really is harming you really kind of like changing the environment and there could be an environment change that you need that needs to happen around you you may need to bring in more crystals to kind of cleanse and maybe um, you may have recently moved into a home where maybe someone had passed away there. Maybe you're picking up on them. So also for you guys, if you are getting things that you're struggling with, say like uh, lucid dreaming or kind of psychic downloads, just be aware this is all good. Okay, this is all good. And it might be scary. Trust me, I've had some weird things in my time. Um, <laughs> I'm only 23. So um, I had some weird things and I've been psychic very much since I was about seven years old. So Girl, I feel you. If some of you guys are, have been awakened for a very long time, you know, you will know this. But also some of you guys who have recently just awakened, it can be confusing, you know? But just know that this is all normal, okay? This is very much normal. But the universe will most likely try to get to you through your sleep. And not say get to you as in like, you know, do anything bad, but like kind of get messages to you. So just be aware of that. And things are gonna change for you. Things are happening for the good and that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna pull a couple of tarot cards. Let's, let's remove the oracle cards so we can get room. So let's do that. All right, so let's get a couple of tarot cards and let's see what's going on with you guys in terms of your spiritual journey. Let's move those back there. Okay. I literally asked for three, we've got two. Okay, we'll get one more. So we have, do we want these? Yeah, they're saying yes, we definitely want those. So we have the Five of Swords, we have Judgment. I'm getting Moldavite really strongly for you guys. Moldavite is such a strong crystal. Oh my God, it's so strong. So for you guys, you could be feeling really lonely right now, feeling really confused, and that's okay. Especially right now, what's happening is there's definitely a really strong divide. So if you're feeling like you are not like anyone else, girl, I feel you, I have been there. Like honestly, you would not believe. So honestly, you are coming into a really gorgeous sense of balance, okay? And, excuse me, I just burped, that's clarification. So because of this balance coming in, you've got to have really strong patience with yourself and know that this is all happening for a reason, okay? And you may be feeling really alone, really confused, really like, I have no idea what's going on, Vicky, like, help me, you know, like that kind of energy. 
it is all happening for a reason. We have the number five. Five is about spiritual change. It's all about going over the threshold into the new. And you may have had losses. You may have had a spiritual awakening through a death. You may have had a spiritual awakening through health problems, things like that. But I feel like there's definitely a need for reaching out for help. So if you need to have help, if you need to talk to somebody, there will always be somebody in the spiritual community, especially in the spiritual community, because a lot of us, you know, we're very, very helpful <laughs> because we've all been through very, very similar things, okay? And know that you can reach out and that there are people who want to help you. And also if there is somebody trying to come into you in your energy, say if it's like a physical person or a spirit, just be aware that you do have strong boundaries and also working on your boundaries because when you're very sensitive and empathic, you just want the best for everyone. But it's it's also really super important to have boundaries. If there is somebody around you, mainly spiritual, like a spirit kind of coming in, just say, nope, I don't want you here, please leave. And just be very, very forceful because some spirits will want to come in because maybe they need to go to the light or, you know, you know, I'm not going to explain it because obviously sometimes people get triggered by this. So I'm not going to go into it too much, but just be very aware that everything is happening for a reason. Okay. And there's definitely smart body experiences you guys are going to have, okay? So if that's what you want, ask for it to come in because you guys are really are open to that, okay? So that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want another reading type like this, I most likely will be doing one another one soon. So that'll be fun. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this reading, don't forget to get... I can't speak. Don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, comment down below. And if you would like to, please subscribe to my channel. And if you, would lo if you want to check out my crystal shop, all the information is down below. I do custom pieces. So thank you so much for being here. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys got clear calls. But before we do this part of the reading, I'm going to see exactly what chakras you guys are working on and get a little bit of information on what type of spiritual gifts you have more specifically, okay? So let's see what chakras you guys are working on. Okay, so we have the throat and the heart chakra. So you guys are very empathic. You guys are really, really sweet. You have such a strong connection to the divine. You are such an expressive person. I feel like you're very, very creative. And I feel like you'll really learn to balance out your masculine and your feminine. And that's going to really help you with your psychic abilities. So for you guys, I feel like for you, you are very, very clairvoyant. I feel like you're clairsentient. And I feel like you're also claircognizant. So clear sight clear hearing and clear knowing. I feel, actually, no, sorry. Clear, clairvoyance, clairsentience and claircognizance, which is psychic sight, psychic feeling and psychic knowing. So more about the kind of feelings and emotions, I feel like for you guys. You can be all of these, by the way. Obviously, it's not pick and choose. You just, however you feel in that, in this moment right now. And we also have the crown chakra meditation. To see more clearly, close your eyes. So if you guys, meditation is extremely important, okay? Um, this will help you to open up your crown chakra, open up your chakras and to help you really feel into these energies and help you just to be more connected to the universe, you know, and in your and your um, psychic spiritual gifts. Alrighty, so we have the heart chakra and the throat chakra. This is being represented as a green ocean jasper and this is lapis azuli. Lapis azuli is very emotional, very, very strong crystal. I don't feel the need to use it a lot because I am a very watery sign. But if you're somebody who's more earthy or air or many air or fire, I feel like lapis azuli is good. Not so much my water signs I don't recommend because it can be a bit too strong. But obviously you just take it as it resonates. It may uh, be helpful for you, okay? Alrighty, so we have connection, Father Divine and Mother Earth, make love in your heart, express your true self, the world needs you. So you guys may be struggling with expressing your true self, you might be coming into a really strong new spiritual awakening with yourself to do with your connection to the divine, and to, to your connection to the universe and how you really express yourself and your psychic abilities are very much to do with the with expressing yourself because it is who you are. It is definitely who you are. So just be very aware that this is going to change for you and things are going to start amplifying. So if you get any kind of throat pain, any heart pain, just know that, that could be an ascension symptom. Okay, so clear quartz, really, really good crystal for in intuition work, really good at enhancing your intuition. I also recommend selenite as well. Okay, so we have when you find yourself believing the limitations of your mind puts in front of you, call on quartz to help you see through the illusions, 
clear the mind of self-doubt, surrender to the will of the universe and start manifesting the impossible, enhance your vision. So it says, rock hounds, quartz intensifies the power of all the stones in your crystal collection, good for Geminis. I love that. So very, very clear, feeling really clear within yourself and also having clear boundaries. Geminis do tend to struggle with boundaries. A lot of air signs do and a lot of water signs do. So obviously I know I'm a water sign myself. <laughs> so it's very much about with your boundaries, psychic boundaries are extremely important as well. So saying no, don't want you in here. If you get like a guide coming in, if you don't want them there, just be very forceful. Just say, nope, I'm good, thanks bro or whatever girl i don't know okay so next one we have out is a perseverance oh i love this so getting really grounded with a number four i love her she's great okay follow me come this is your invitation to enter the realm of fairy we have transformation i love that we then have oops we have something on my table there Min Takan, longing for home, belonging, the original light worker. So we're gonna work with these cards first. I don't really kind of pick and choose how many cards we get. So I'm gonna have a look at these cards in just a second, okay? So the first thing I'm really noticing is the fact we have light workers. So some of you guys could really represent as a light worker. You could be very in tune with psychic abilities and very in tune with say uh, ETs and extraterrestrials. You could be a star seed as well. And for you guys, you are really having a gigantic transformation. Your transformation is epic at the moment. Things are really, really changing at a cellular level. And you could be getting like a really strong intuition to just lead, lead something, lead a, um, I'm hearing a commotion, which um, there's a song called Locomotion. And I'm really getting like a happy, like lead, follow the leader kind of thing. Like follow the leader, leader, like very fun. It's not like anything intense or nasty or negative. It feels very, very positive. It's like I'm hearing leading the people into the new age. It feels like that. So for you guys, you may have been feeling like you are longing for home, longing for this kind of like energy of co-creation, creation with another person, creation with another being. And for you guys, there's definitely a sense of becoming and um, belonging to who you really are. So I do feel like you're going to change your perspective on that or you're gonna to start to become much more comfortable with being here on this earth. It may be you're going through a very big transformative energy right now, very big transformation and coming out the other side will help you will make you feel more at home. Because I feel like at the moment you feel like you're longing for home and it could be you're actually mo moving like physically home as well, which is why we have the number four. Number four is very much about the home, it's about the fourth, the, I'm hearing the fourth chakra as well, which is your, I'm not used to working with the numbers, so root, root, sacral, solar, throat. Is that right? Pretty sure that's right. So it could be about really speaking your truth. We do have the number five as well. So that could be very significant and two and three and two and three. And four. <laughs> so yeah, it's very much about getting clear on your boundaries, very much a very strong energy of transformation, wearing things that you love as well, possibly wearing like glittery things, wearing things that are more kind of outstanding. So you're more kind of, you know, noticed by people and just really getting more attention. And I think as well, when we do awaken on a subconscious level, people start noticing us more because we're becoming more of our authentic self. And also you're going to start attracting people who are much more on your wavelength. And you guys have had a lot of perseverance through this transformation. It's been really hard for some of you guys. It's been really uncomfortable. So it could be like somebody's going to come in to help you get through this energy and transform. It could be like, um, I'm hearing a seance. So some of you guys could be having a seance, but I don't really recommend doing seances unless it's obviously, you know, you've got a lot of experience with that sort of thing. Um, but obviously that's only my opinion, obviously. So yeah, there's definitely a lot about gold and copper I'm getting for this group, like copper, gold, silver, a lot of metal. So you could be working with metals. You could be taking like colloidal silver or really working with that sort of thing. So that could be a really big thing for you to help you clear your energy. And also you guys may be toxifying. So that could be bringing in a lot of kind of uh, transformation. And you could be seeing a lot of possibly ETs. You could be um, seeing a lot of spirits, that sort of thing. Okay, so let's have a look at the rest of the cards. So the cards, the next cards we have are Panther, we have the Crow, and we have the Sun. So I always feel like the Sun here is a very strong masculine energy. He is somebody who is a leader, okay? And I did say about being a leader, leaders are very much Aries energy, and I feel in this group, so you could be an Aries as well. And I feel like the sun here is very much about you coming into a leadership role. So you may not want to be a leader. You're thinking, Vicky, that's not what I want to do on this planet. 
but you could be just kind of pushed into it by the universe essentially but it suits you you know if that's something you want to do then do it and you, when you're a leader you don't actually have to be a leader of something huge it could just be literally something so small it could be like you're the leader in your family you could be helping in a group you could be you know like part of a community that sort of thing but also if you don't have really any of those sort of situations you could be bringing in like a new community so especially with the panther and the crow there are black animals. I always associate black animals with like a darker side. Um, not like anything evil, not a bad thing. I mean more to do with like psychic um, spirituality. Some of you guys could have been really fighting off your spiritual gifts or could be fighting off your spiritual gifts or being like, no, I'm too scared, I don't want to, which is totally fine, guys. I feel like for you, you're going to have more of a slow process awakening. But that's what's obviously what's best for your soul. And I feel like that's what your kind of drive is going towards. And also the crow always is very spiritual. This card is very spiritual. It's very much about you finding your spiritual gifts and finding things that really resonate on your level so you can really enhance those so the sun is also about your flame it's about the self it's about who you are expressing yourself on this planet so this is going to be all about how you are getting towards your kind of purpose and for you guys you could be helping a lot of star seeds kind of um, help them in this world you could be bringing in messages not deliberately it could be like accidental maybe deliberately um, you could also be a psychic you could be a reiki healer something like that it could even be a nurse you know it doesn't actually have to be something super spiritual and woo woo i'm hearing <laughs> um so yeah the sun is very much about the inner flame it's really i feel like because the flame is very much due like it's very close to his throat chakra you could be getting some really strong messages coming through intuitively or literally like message on instagram or like a message from a person who really connects to you it could be a divine masculine wanting to come into your energy as well it doesn't actually have to be a romantic partner it could be a friendship but i am also feeling like a shaman type energy um, but it could be like a person coming in and they could be inviting you to kind of like more spiritual communities or groups um, but they could be online at first and then more to do with the physical when kind of all this stuff kind of calms down around the world um, but I do feel like with perseverance it's been really hard for you it's been quite a big struggle for you and I feel like you just got to keep going with this and know that it will improve and you just gotta know that you got to use anything to do to help you cope with this okay because it is going to work out you are going to get there you just got to recognize that sometimes it takes a bit longer than the normal but that's okay everyone is different and the way you handle it is the most important thing so as long as you're doing the best you can guys that is enough okay and don't ever push yourself to feel like you're not doing enough and I also feel like the number seven and number 44 is like really important for this group. So take that as it resonates. I do feel like a lot of you are really scared of this though. You may be kind of like reluctant to bring in this energy, which is totally fine. Obviously you clicked on this video because you are interested in psychic abilities or, you know, your spiritual gifts. But obviously you take it as it resonates, guys. And just be aware that everyone's journey is completely different. Okay, so let's have a look at your tarot. And let's see what wants to come in for that. Alrighty. Alrighty. So let's get you a couple of tarot cards or a few tarot cards. Okay. So I feel like you could be feeling a little bit uncomfortable, a little bit kind of like lackluster in terms of work. You may be um, changing up your work life. You could be unemployed and therefore your new spiritual journey is about to happen and you're becoming much more in tune with what it is you need to do to get to where you're going. So it's kind of like the universe is stopping you from working possibly so you can really concentrate on your soul, soul's journey more, more on like a spiritual level and you're definitely leaving a lot of things behind. So you could be feeling more of a separation in your work life because maybe you've had a quite a strong spiritual awakening and you're starting to feel a little bit separate from people or you'll learn to be more discerning around other people's energies and there could be people that you're letting go out of your life so you can really advance forward and become much more confident with your journey going ahead and with the nine of pentacles you guys could also so for some of you if that other one other message didn't resonate some of you guys you could be working really hard and you could be doing this more spiritual job and you're bringing in more of a spiritual community that really supports you and therefore letting go of anything that no longer serves you but also you could just be feeling like like really comfortable with where you're at now you've accepted yourself for who you are and what you're really good at then you're actually you may be making money out of it you may be kind of like a tarot reader or kind of somebody who gives spiritual advice you could be a counselor you could be a nurse you could be a holistic practitioner something like that but it could even be to do with your heart and your voice it could even be a singer a poet something like that it doesn't have to be like super super spiritual 
But yeah, I really, really love that. And especially because we had the crown chakra underneath, meditation is going to really help you bring in um, a much stronger energy to do with this. It's going to help you manifest whatever you want to manifest quicker, especially um, because you're going to be connecting more to the divine and help. the divine is going to help you to get where you need to go. And also just know that people will support you. If you want some support, some support then really listen out for that because I feel the support is coming in and you are going to reap the benefits and the rewards of what you are giving out. So that is your reading, guys. If you'd like to purchase a private reading, all my information is down below. Below. and I also have a crystal shop down below as well and if you would like to subscribe I'd really really appreciate it if you haven't already thank you so much for being here I love you and I'll speak to you soon bye hello group number three thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading so before we get started with those cards well, I'm going to pull you a crystal card we're going to see what chakra or crystal you're really working with with your psychic abilities and what type of psychic abilities I'm feeling from this group Okie dokie. So we have truth. Speak from your heart. It is the only thing worth listening to. This is very much about your throat chakra. This is turquoise. Turquoise is really good at helping you become your most authentic self. It's really good at expressing your truth, expressing, <laughs> expressing your truth. And it's really good for kind of discerning the right people for to surround yourself with. Really good at discerning your energy. Okay, so we have amber and we have the smoky quartz. I love smoky quartz. Really, really good for helping you just get grounded when you're channeling. Really, really good. So we have fearlessness. Turn your warrior into a warrior. And we have solar plexus and we have root chakra, strength. Strength comes from your connection to your root of your being. So for you guys, getting grounded is so, so, so important. I'd probably say it's for each and every group, but it is so important. Um, you could be feeling a little bit anxious around channeling or you could be feeling a little bit anxious around kind of being open about who you are and your spiritual gifts. But just know that a lot of your energy is going to come from your solar plexus. So you may be more of an emotional uh, type person and from the human design, you could be more of an emotional manifester. So um, I feel like for you guys, it's really coming home to your body and really connecting to your body. So maybe like moisturizing your legs and when you do, it's kind of like be more present when you are moisturizing your body or when you're in the shower, be very present with the water and how it's running over you just to kind of get more into the, like the more calmer energy. And we also have peace, crown chakra, clear quartz. It's in stillness, the answer will be re revealed. So you guys, I feel like are very have very, very strong chakras I'm feeling. It's just almost like, you, I feel like you are an extremely intuitive group. I feel like you guys are really connected to your solar plexus and you know when it's the right time to kind of act, whether you know with what sort of psychic abilities you have. So I genuinely feel like you have, you, this group has all of the, uh, the clairs. So we have clairvoyance, clairsentience, clairaudience, claircognizance, clairgustance and clairalliance. So we have Clairvoyance, which is sight, clairsentience, which is feeling, clairaudience, which is hearing, claircognizance, which is knowing, claircustance, which is tasting, and clairalliance, which is psychic smelling. So all of those. Obviously, they're going to fluctuate as you kind of go along in life, but I feel like for you guys, the main one is claircognizance, which is psychic knowing. I think you just generally have a very strong knowing about things. And especially when you meet like friends or kind of family members, I feel like you guys are very, very instinctual and very intuitive. I'm getting really strong Scorpio from this group. It just feels like you guys just know. I'm getting really strong Capricorn vibes as well. Very intense. I feel like a lot of you guys are fixed signs or you have fixed signs very prominently in your energy. So like... Uh, Scorpio, Taurus, uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo. Sorry, it took me a while to uh, to get those out today. So let's have a look at your cards. So the first one we have out is Selenite, one of my absolute faves for channeling. I always have my Selenite here. I have these Selenite Towers, which I sell on my shop, which I am in love with. And I also have these Selenite Wands. I don't sell these in my shop, but I love uh, waving this little wand around when I'm doing readings sometimes. So if I feel the need, I just grab this little guy. And I do a reading with him. So, uh, yes, it's a him. Um, sometimes it's a her. It depends on the day. <laughs> All right. So we have selenite. So when to use it? When you move into a new space and want any lingering bad juju to vamoose. When you pray to gods above, when you've been working with crystals and want to clear away any energy, any energy, any energy they've picked up in the process, give them a little tap with selenite. So this is really good to put by your bedside, in your house, in your lounge. Um, this is for people who are healers, believers, the currently cleansing juice, technology, etc. 
Selenite is really, really good. It says clear your path to enlightenment. It's gonna be really good for just clearing yourself. Selenite is really good for cleansing your energy. So you can literally, even if it's literally just a card, like wave it around your energy and your aura and just kind of like, you know, like wave it on your arms and things, just kind of clear your energy. Um, that will really, really help you to just tune into what it is that you need to get, say, little messages, or if you just need to relax. I feel like the most messages you will get is when you're relaxed, when you're calm, and when you're kind of centered, okay? So as I say, selenite is one of my favorite crystals for channeling. So if you guys want to get into channeling or you want to just connect more with your guides, then I feel like selenite's really good. And also for you guys, you don't have to know exactly who your guides are. I don't really know who mine are, but I choose... I mean, I don't really feel the need to know, you know, if they come in and they tell me that's totally fine. I love that. And it makes me very happy. But if I don't know, that's totally fine. Like I'm okay with that, you know, and it's kind of like whoever you feel the need to channel from. That is the main energy. Okay. So we have time out. So if you guys, you could be getting a little bit frustrated with yourself because maybe you can't uh, channel, you can't um, get messages or you're just feeling a little bit tired. I think you guys just got to be really kind to yourself and know that you're going through a really big transformation. Seven and three is number 10, that's completion. So you're really coming into a more completed energy. So the last probably little trails of that might be a little bit exhausting for you. So for you guys having a break will really, really help you gain more of your psychic abilities and really help you gain a bit better insight on how to connect with them. Okay, so we have Story Keeper. Tell your story, legacy, write your wisdom. So you guys might be writing a book, a poem, a story, journaling, maybe a dream journal. We've got number four here. So very much about um, getting grounded and getting centered. We have number three. Riddle Fisher, divination, seeking out and finding answers. Yeah, so you guys are really wanting to know what your spiritual gifts are. And just as I say, don't put pressure on yourself. I'm gonna have a look into these two cards in just a second. So the last two cards out, we have our mirror, who or what is triggering you. And then we have the age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. So if you guys, you could be just feeling really tired. You could be um, like a very uh, empathic person and you could just be looking at the world thinking, what the F is going on? <laughs> like, why am I here? This is too confusing for me. Girl, I feel you, okay, honestly. And I feel like it's gonna help a lot of people if you tell your, if you tell your story about what's gone on in your life and how things have really affected you. Because I feel like what's really important is when people really understand us and what we've been through. And it's really nice to just share, you know, just share what we've gone through. And you have been training for this for a lifetime. So is there anything that really triggers you? Just know this is just another process towards your enlightenment. And I know it's really hard sometimes, guys, but honestly, you will find answers within this. And you may be doing some more divination. You may have tarot cards, you may have crystals to do kind of like divination and things like that. Um, but I do feel like you do have to take some time out because you have been, I'm hearing trekking or an old path. So what I'm hearing is like, you need to really let go of things that no longer serve you. If there's something that is really triggering you, just let it go. Like know that that's theft to trigger me, that's okay. Work with the emotions as they come up. Don't be too analytical about it, let them flow. And know that when you do get there and you do come into a more enlightened place, you know, that'll be when you have the, the, you know, the time to step back and really look at what's going on, but from a, a like a further away place, okay? So the next cards we have out are Leo's. Leo, okay, well, I was meant to say you could be a Leo, and uh, we have the lion. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of that lion from Lion, the Witch in the Wardrobe, or Narnia. Um, what is his name? I'm hearing Alaskan, but that's not, <laughs> that's not it. That's not it. <laughs> um... Oh my God, it's totally gone. If you guys know what it is or I can get it intuitively, then, you know, oh, have I got it? Did I get it? I don't know, <laughs> it just got a download, but it wasn't the right one. Okay, spirits, what is this uh, top line that I'm thinking of? Oh my God, it's like right there. What is it? I'm hearing Prisoner of Azkaban, but that's Harry Potter. That is not, that is not it, sis. Oh my God, I've totally forgotten. Okay, well, if it comes to me, I'll tell you. If you guys can tell me if I haven't already said it, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so we have the waxing crescent. So in the book here, the waxing crescent represents setting intentions, planting a seed for what you want to accomplish during this cycle. So it could be that you're wanting to set out new intentions. Um, you are definitely letting go of the old, bringing in the new and you are really coming into a really high sense of self. You're really learning to acknowledge your power. And there's definitely an energy of you guys really opening up to um, your gifts. And I feel like 
there's definitely something that you're kind of stopping yourself from feeling. So it could be a person, it could be, um, you know, it could be feeling about a person. I feel like some of you guys, you have a crush and you're stopping yourself from feeling um, that feelings about this person. I'm not sure why, maybe you're scared about feeling accepted, but I do feel like you are gonna get a much more clearer feeling. I feel like some of you guys, it's needing to lead and it could be quite scary for you. So. I am feeling, I think the lion's name is Aslan. That's kind of the um, the name that I got. So I do feel like that's quite significant for some of you guys. And there's definitely an energy of connecting with um, more kind of fantasy energy. So you could be more of a, I'm hearing a fantasy channel. So you could channel using films or books or something like that. There's definitely like a fantasy element with this group. And with the lion, it's kind of getting you to come away from being that warrior energy. Do we get that card? Because I have seen that card today. Is it this group? Yes. Turn your warrior into warrior. Like you, you guys are little warriors. And I really, need, I really feel like you guys need to come into the uh, warrior energy. And there's a lot of warriors in um, Narnia. So I do feel like you guys could be connecting with that film. That could be quite a significant energy for you. Um, or significant sign. Or three and four could be quite significant. We do have three twice here so sorry I think I can reach the card my leg was in the way all right so let's get you some tarot and let's see what wants to come through for group number three oops okay so we have the five of wands definitely that warrior energy kind of feeling to fight your way into things or fight your way out of things I feel like some of you guys you could have a family member that doesn't accept your psychic abilities and that's okay you know not everyone's going to understand um just, just, just know I understand <laughs> and that it's okay. You could be going through a little bit of a heartbreak, a little bit of a breakup right now. You could be getting like a sudden revelation about a certain partnership and that's okay because you may need to go into like some sort of hermit mode to kind of like combat any kind of tough energies, but know that this is all for a purpose. And if you do need to take some time out, definitely do that. We did have that card. So, but when you do, you're going to manifest your person. I feel for some of you guys who are single, there's definitely a magical moment that's coming in. We're going to manifest like a brand new start. And it's going to be really, really amazing. It's going to be a really nice path that's going to suit you. It's just going to be amazing for you guys. So for you guys, some of you, some of you guys have already gone through a breakup or some sort of broken hearted energy, revealing some sort of truth about somebody. Um, it could also be that you're no longer wanted to be in like a toxic energy and it could be quite heartbreaking to release it. But just know if someone's treating you really badly, you did not lose out, okay? They lost you you know, so they were the ones who were, you know, you did not lose anything, you know, you gained more by focusing on your own energy and focusing on what you need to focus on, okay, and knowing that you are on the right path, okay, so I'm really picking up on Amazonite for you guys, like a really strong crystal of Amazonite, I don't know if we had that already, but that's coming through really strongly, it's like using your throat and your crown chakra together, Okay, so we have the Five of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Three of Swords. So this is definitely an energy of power coming through. Coming through as like, I'm going to go to my passions. I'm not going to let anyone stop me, which is amazing. You could be meeting somebody through your spiritual awakening, but you're kind of a little bit like, oh, I'm not too sure. So just be aware that this person could come in any geyser. Could be a friend, could be a romantic partner, could be a family member, could be a new family member, maybe a child or something like that. Could even be like a spirit guide that comes in. But I do feel like somebody wants to come in in your energy and they're very determined. So this person may even be a Leo as well. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I have a crystal shop down below as well. If you want to check that out, please feel free. I do little sales and things here and there. So if you want to check that out, please do. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys. I hope you have a lovely day. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's happening for you guys around your psychic abilities. So let's get some crystal cards first before we get into this uh, group. I'm going to have a look at the crystal cards here and we're gonna see what crystal and what chakra you really work from on your psychic abilities and what type of psychic ability you could, you could have. Okay, so first one out is forgiveness. You'll find freedom in forgiveness, heart chakra, malachite. So you guys are very, very strong feelers. You feel into any situation, very, very psychic. Don't really push any sort of psychic abilities away. I feel like you've got family members who are very supportive or one family member who's very supportive. We have the crown chakra, clear quartz, peace and stillness, 
uh, piece in stillness, the answer will be revealed. And then let's get one more. Oh, we have two more. Oh, sorry if you can see a fly kind of buzzing around. He's just chilling. I'm letting him chill for some reason. He just wants to chill. So we're letting him chill. I don't know where he's come from, but he's chilling. Okay, so we have listening, throat chakra. If you want to be heard, learn to listen. Okay, so that's one of the energies there. Okay, we then have the third eye and the heart. So we've got two hearts, one crown and one third eye. So this says connection. Father divine and mother earth make love in your heart. That sounds kinky, we love. And then we have signs. There will always be signs to guide you on your truest path. So if you're feeling stuck or not knowing where you wanna go or where you can go, know that you will get guided. I feel like for you guys, your throat chakra is one of the most strongest chakras. I'm getting like really powerful voices. Some of you guys might even be like opera singers or something, that's really powerful. So I feel like the main psychic ability you guys have is clear cognizance, which is psychic knowing. Um, I feel like this is a really strong energy for you guys, but you could also have any of the clairs. It could be clairvoyance, clair gustance, but I do feel like more clair, uh, psychic knowing and psychic feeling, which is kind of like clair cognizance or clair sentience or clairvoyance. I feel like those are the main ones, but if you do have um, your third eye or your throat chakra coming through really strongly. I feel like you could have psychic tasting as well, but obviously you could have all of these, just take it as it resonates, guys. Um, obviously this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. We did have the throat chakra listening. If you want to be heard, learn to listen. So for you guys in the stillness, you're gonna get the most out of um, your energy and the most out of all of your relationships, okay? So let's see your cards. So we have Opal, I love this, really good crystal for channeling. I chose all these crystals uh, today because they're really good with channeling. So this is really good for the all black wardrobe set, can benefit from black precious Opal's bold pop of color and spiritual protection. Not so prolific artists can ride fire Opal's burn. So it says where to put it, white and blue vibe with the head, pink vibes with the heart and black vibes with the lower abdomen. When to use it, when you have something that needs to get moving, a project, a relationship, an energetic block, feel all your feels. So for you guys, you could be really in tune with a partner right now. You could be finding out um, about a new partner that's coming in. You could be having a very spiritual experience with your partner. You could be meeting somebody new very soon and be creating some sort of partnership. It could be you get, um, <clears throat> it could be in a twin flame connection. Um, and we do have connection here. So you could be, yeah, I feel like connections are really important for you guys. You could be a Cancerian, or have very strong cancer tendencies or cancer placements. Alrighty. Wow, beautiful. Very much to do with the heart chakra. That is Mother Gaia coming through strong. We have her special place. Find your own safe space inside and out. That is very, very um, Cancerian. I love that. Feeling safe in your little heart chakra, which is beautiful. Okay, I'm going to look at these crystals, uh, crystals. I'm going to look at these cards in just a second and go put those there. So we have uh, Akasha. Your guidance is divinely guided and we have boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? So first thing I'm looking at Akasha, you could be connected with the Akashic records. That could be something that you're really working with. Um, your guidance is divinely guided, which is showing me that wherever you're going, you're going to be divinely guided and you're going to get the most out of this situation. So when you have your safe space, that is gonna make you and help you channel much, much easier. And wherever you're being guided to, know that it is worth you know, pursuing. So if you have like a, a clear knowing about something um, and you feel like you wanna to go towards it, freaking go towards it. But also remember when you are very psychic or you're very kind of in tune with your body or you're learning to come in tune with your body or very sensitive, boundaries are so freaking important because people will suck the life out of you, especially narcissists not aware not really aware of doing this but they will suck the life out of you so just be aware that that's obviously something quite important so in your heart chakra you need to really tune in and understand that that's your strongest chakra and your throat chakra as well so feel into your heart chakra and know that your safe space is going to be in nature as well that's when you're going to get the most out of your psychic abilities that's when you're going to get the most out of your own energy and I do feel like with Opal, it's kind of discovering a part of you that you never that you never knew about. So you might be finding out new parts of yourself that you never knew existed. Um, and you could be kind of talking to people and they possibly give you guidance without really knowing. Or you could be like, as you open up, you could be kind of having weird encounters with people. And it could just be showing you that people are f f like, discovering your energy, possibly on a subconscious level, and wanting to connect with you further. You could be literally having a conversation with somebody at a bus stop or in a queue at a shop, something like that. 
um, and really just, yeah, connecting very strongly. I feel like something's going on with my teeth, so I feel like you guys might be getting some new, like, veneers or dentures or something like that, something to do with, like, a plate or, like, getting your teeth done, something like that, but just be aware that your energy is very, your, your energy and you are very sensitive, so if you get any dental treatment done, just be very aware that you might need to take a break, okay? So we have Saturn, the old grumpy grandpa, and we have Neptune. So, wow, you guys are working with some really strong planets. Um, with Saturn, he's like the ruler. He is the one that's like, no, dude, you are not doing that. Or yes, dude, you're doing that. So he's the one who's kind of like in charge. You know, he's like the leader. So along with Neptune, this is a really nice little partnership we've got going on with these two planets. Um, very much about tuning into your emotions, but also having boundaries around who you invest your time with, who you invest your energy with, and who you really want to connect with. And know that if you do feel overwhelmed, take some time away. And and also, if those people aren't accepting your boundaries, don't be around them, guys. They can People can suck life out of you, they really can. So use some black onyx to really protect yourself, but also just use your discernment, guys. Just really, honestly, just use your discernment. You guys are most likely water signs. We have a turtle here, so he's just chilling. He's just a really gentle little guy. So I feel like for you guys, you are very gentle. You're very, very gentle. And you, when you were younger, you could have been called like a petal or a little bee or a babe or something like that, I'm hearing. Like you're really, um, you've connected with a lot of people or kind of, I'm hearing adults, so possibly like parents or things like that who have called you like quite sensitive or, you know, but honoured that. And if they haven't honoured it, you know, you know just where they are on their journey. Okay, everyone's on their own journey. So with a turtle, I've had a little look in the book and it says, ancient soul grounded trusting a home in the self. Yes, queen. So we have the home here, safe space. You guys are old souls. You guys are very connected to nature, very connected to the earth and animals. Um, you guys are just so sensitive and cute. I love this group. So I'm going to read in the book because I feel like this is going to really help you guys. So it says, it is wonderful to be in the presence of a turtle personality. Like the beaver, the turtle has a strong relationship with the earth and water elements simultaneously. This helps to ground and connect them to the deeper truths of life, no matter where their travels lead them. Turtle energy is behind all great writers and storytellers as they collect life experience under their shells for later use. The most potent turtle energy helps us close all the other books and begin to tell our own true tale. So it's really connecting with your own self. So when in balance, peaceful, adventurous and productive. When out of balance, slows down to a halt, bring into balance and adventure. I feel like a lot of you guys are Cancerians. Like this is like proper, proper, proper Cancerian energy. So let's have a look into your tarot and let's see what's going on there. But yeah, for you guys, really just look after yourself. It's so, so, so important for you to look after your energy. That's gonna really, really help you, okay? Okay, let's have a look at your tarot. I feel like you guys are gonna meet a water sign quite soon, or you know a water sign is very psychic or very in tune. We just know somebody is very sensitive, I'm picking up on. Some of you guys I'm picking up, you could be speaking to spirits who have like passed over or people who have passed over in your life. People who you may know, family members, you know, something like that, who you're very close to. I'm seeing actually children in spirit. So for some of you guys, I know this is a very sensitive subject, but for some of you guys could have a um, an, a baby that has passed on in spirit and um, you can talk to them. They're saying you can talk to them if you would, if you want to do that. But obviously that's totally up to you. Um, but just be aware, you, if you do get kind of spirits coming in, just set your boundaries with them and just say, no, nope, I don't want to have, have you right now. I don't want you in my energy, just be very forceful with it because, wow, <laughs> there's definitely somebody coming in for you guys, really connecting with your soul's purpose. You guys are coming out of strain and confusion and anxiety towards yourself. There is definitely a romantic partner coming in. If you guys want a romantic partner, um, then there's definitely somebody coming in who really wants to treat you well, who who you who, who you're going to have very strong boundaries with. You could be meeting like a earth sign, fire sign, water sign, all of the signs. Um, and you could be getting all of the signs towards about this person as well. So this person's part of your spiritual journey because you're awakening. The high priestess is very much about a spiritual um, person. It's someone who's very intuitive, someone who's very awoken or wants to be awakened to their natural gifts. 
This is because you're doing this and you're consciously being aware of this, you're gonna bring in somebody who really appreciates you for who you are. So for you guys who aren't wanting a relationship or wanting more friendship and things like that, I do see somebody coming along. All this energy is part of you are connecting to your inner child and you're able to connect closer to your, um, your spiritual guidance because you're then connecting to your inner child, your inner world, and you're also like learn to not take life so seriously. And if you do get any stress or strain, you're just letting it go. I feel like because this nine of swords is in reverse, which is so good, it means that you're now becoming more gentler with yourself. You're approaching yourself with more gentleness and you're balancing out that energy. And I feel like because you're doing that, someone is now coming along because your energy and your, your vibration is much higher and you're gonna attract someone who's a very high vibration, somebody who's very childlike, um, helps you become childlike, helps you connect to your inner child. And then you feel very at peace with this person. I'm hearing very strong boundaries. Like boundaries are so strong with this. And both of you respect each other's boundaries really nicely. I'm getting like an Aquarian Taurus energy or like a Scorpio Taurus energy. Like that's the connection I'm feeling. It could be a friend as well or a shaman or somebody who really helps you. It could even be like a parent who um, is coming for a spiritual, who's going for a spiritual awakening. And then you um, you kind of connect them strongly, stronger. Or it could be just like a, a connection that I'm just hearing a, a form a formation, a formation of a connection is coming towards you. So it could be you're becoming close with your family members, being more open with them. It could be a stronger connection with an old friend, something like that. And this card is really sticking out. So I'm just going to grab her because I really want to say this last little message before we end the reading. Okay, so it says, where you need to be, acknowledge how you're feeling, have faith the universe will take care of a current concern by providing the best possible outcome for all involved. Perfect. So if you're having any concerns about your spiritual awakening or your journey, just know that everything is where it needs to be and just slow down, guys, and take your time. Also, intuition fluctuates, so just remember that. Every time I say intuition fluctuates, I always do this with my hand. <laughs> I don't do that on purpose, it's just like a thing. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm also hearing your intuition comes in waves, so just take it as it resonates and just really just let yourself flow with it. And, you know, don't be hard on yourself because intuition isn't a straight line. Um, it fluctuates up and down. So thank you so much for being here, guys. If you would like a private reading, all my information is down below. And if you would like to check out my crystal shop, also down below. If you'd like to subscribe and haven't already, please do. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Also, last message, if you guys get any spirit guides or anybody you want to get rid of or, you know, not be around, just say no and have very strong boundaries with them, okay? You do have a choice. So thank you so much for being here. I'll speak to you soon.